Welcome to a classic game room strategic hyper instructional tactics review where I'm playing Earth Defense Force 4.1 on PlayStation 4. I'll show you how to win at this game, except if you're playing Earth Defense Force, you already win. You're a winner. Raise your hand in the air, look in the mirror and say, I'm a winner because I'm playing Earth Defense Force. I love these missions where we get some kind of a cheesy ass storyline beforehand. The alien Death Star has returned. This is mission 10, which is titled Return. And we're going to kick some serious ass. I'm playing a normal, which is going to, of course, just be silly easy for me at this point in the game, but that's okay. You know why it's okay? Because it's still fun. And when you play on levels that are way below your ability, you just collect armor, and that helps for when you play missions which are challenging. So, I'm using the I Done E Custom 2, and what I've done is just kick the crap out of a bunch of alien insects. I done, and I continue to done it. I'm doing it again, over and over again. This thing looks great. It's a good weapon. A lot of people I've read like these, uh, th this particular style of weapon the best. I tend to rely more on the lasers <laughs> myself, but... Uh, here we go, the, the Reflectron Multi-Laser is a great weapon. Uh, but I'm going in with the I Done just just uh, for for giggles, for strategic hiker, for strategic hyper instructional tactics and giggles. I hear my ad revenue gets taken now if I use potty mouth, so that's why I use an acronym: strategic hyper instructional tactics. And uh, this this is actually one of the bigger earlier missions, or I should say maybe one of the earlier big missions. Uh, so if you're just starting out with this game, you're going to find out uh, that this is this is basically what you're going to expect later on, which is multiple waves of increasingly challenging enemies. So it may not look like it when I'm playing here, but I'm, I'm just... I've got 850-some health points or armor points, and I'm just going to mangle these stupid-ass insects. But you can see now a second wave has appeared in the distance. I'm going to collect the armor. I don't really care about the weapons so much at this point because they're they're not going to be any good any good um the harder if you if you look at a uh, earth defense force 4.1 walkthrough it'll show you but the more challenging missions drop better weapons so odds are i've already got all the weapons in this mission just anyway so i'm not gonna worry about picking up the weapons but the armor is always valuable and i like this part so we're gonna see the alien um, mothership or whatever here uh basically bring the noise and it's fun to watch if you're playing this level when you're just starting out the game my suggestion is to bring a uh, ammo weapon if you're, if you're playing as wing diver bring an ammo weapon like the uh, lasers or the i done or something like that and uh, maybe you want a sniper rifle oh there we go there we go good stuff Love the over-the-top screaming and sound effects in this game. It's so much fun. Um, anyway, anyway, go in with a good selection of weapons. And just just be careful. Don't get yourself surrounded. This one isn't too tough. It's only mission 10. But it, it can get tricky because you've got a nice variety of enemies. And this is one of the first times in the game that it throws it at you. Like that. So we're going to wait for another wave here and some a some alien drop ships are going to show up but you're not really supposed to go after the alien drop ships and it, it does you no good to try to shoot down the death star just leave it alone these things are going to start dropping ants and then you're gonna to have to fight some of those weird ass drones across an entire planet maybe the ravagers didn't need to hurry so they chose to take a break in order to get ready for their return Thus allowing time for the Earth to be... You're not, you're not here to make friends. We're not going to hold out our hand and be like, Hello, alien ants. Let's be friends. and Because then the game would suck. No, we're going we're gonna to use laser chainsaws and cut their heads off and stuff. And then, and then, then that's awesome. So. Are being dropped from the Ravager's transport ship. Okay, now look at the map. You see that the drop ships are dropping aliens or ants or whatever. So we're gonna fly fly up here and greet the ants head on. This, this isn't a very difficult mission, and these aren't very difficult ants. They're not like the red ones or anything. They're they're just the silly black ones, but they are shooting at you. So if if you're not super powerful, just be careful. You know, play play sensibly. Insects. You can take care of the guests from the sky after that. 
Sometimes I just like to play these levels on easier difficulties and collect my armor and kill some happy bugs. Happy bugs. Happy slaughter. Good times. Good times. What are those videos where people whisper and they get like two billion hits? Maybe I should try that. I'm killing a bunch of ants with lasers. There we go. Did that soothe you? I hope that yeah, who cares? The eye done does look cool, doesn't it? <laughs> the good thing about that one is it kind of shoots through things as well. It, it's good for the tunnels. I, I tend to still go into the tunnels with the laser weapons, as you've seen in some of my other videos, but the eye done is actually a good choice for that. That uh, series, I forget what that series is. It's not the, um, it's, I think, what, just the electrocution weapons. They're, they're kind of like laser shotguns in a way. Uh, they don't do a whole lot of damage, but they do a lot of damage... Or a fair amount of damage quickly, and since they're ammo, they don't uh, suck your um, energy quite as quickly as something like the sniper rifles. Storm team. Ranger eight is battling the enemy. Now, when fighting the drones, as a general rule, I think you want something that has a bit of range. Uh, because every now and then you'll encounter these missions where there's a whole bunch of them off in the distance, and if you can't hit them, and the same goes for dropships, if you can't bring down the dropships, then it, then it just kind of sucks, so... Uh, you want something with some range when there's drones. Another another annoying thing you may encounter in this game, and uh, EDF veterans know this all too well, is that they'll always they'll, they'll occasionally be one enemy like left off in the distance somewhere. So you'll play a mission for like a half hour, get to the end, and, and then realize you can't kill this one enemy because it's like too far away. <laughs> so don't don't uh, don't put yourself in that situation. Bring something that has some range. Sniper rifles are really good for that, but but for this mission, I'm just mixing it up here again. I done and Reflectron multi laser. Now that's a pretty serious weapon, the Reflectron. I just picked that up uh, not too long ago on an Inferno mission. Oh, and that's it. It's over. Well, that was fun. It's a fun mission. I like how they mix it up with that one. All right, see you next time. Get your CGR shirts and glassware at ClassicGameRoom.com Classic Game Room is brought to you by Magnum Skywolf CGR is supported by fans on Patreon. Thank you.